First on Fox, it is a tribute to the victims of 9-11 and the service members killed in the years that followed. Here is some video taken just moments ago of the thousands of flags of valor now standing on Art Hill in Forest Park. It is a breathtaking display remembering the lives lost. The tribute is in place for the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Fox News' Jeff Bernthal reports on why volunteers teamed up for this powerful display. The tradition began during the 10th anniversary of 9-11. The Flags of Valor display returned on the 15th anniversary and is back for the 20th anniversary of the terrorist attacks. American flags pay tribute to first responders who died and service members killed in the years that followed. Civilians who were killed are also remembered. We're, we're honoring the, uh, the, the victims of 9-11 with six beautiful picture boards uh, at, the, uh, at the Grand Basin. Um, then we're honoring the first responders with 412 flags and the soldiers with 7,054 flags. Volunteers poured out over Forest Park Sunday morning and also placed dog tags and photos with each flag. There's a lot of people in St. Louis that care about the sacrifices that these uh, families and these young men and women have made because... Um, there's not many towns that could put up 7,500 flags in an hour. The 1,000 people or so that showed up this morning were able to do that. U.S. Army Specialist Jackson Johnson lost his life in Kuwait in 2019. And we want to make sure that every soldier, including our hero, is never forgotten. Um, it's, we ask that everybody just say, say their names. You know, say their names out loud. Let them be remembered, whether it be, you know, in a prayer or talking to somebody to say their names, that's all we ask. Those being honored include the 13 service members killed recently in Afghanistan. Some refugees also helped install flags, including one translator who served with U.S. Special Forces for 16 years. We here to remember all of those brothers who lost their life during the freedom. Organizers are also looking for anyone interested in sponsoring a flag so they can send that flag to the loved ones of each service member being remembered here in Forest Park. I get involved with these things to begin with to help people remember and to maybe do a little something for the community, for people who have given so much. But I get back tenfold what I give in terms of generosity and kindness from these Gold Star families. They are without a doubt some of the kindest people I've ever met. One of the many volunteers included a St. Louis area woman who escaped the Twin Towers minutes after they collapsed. You know, every year when the anniversary comes, it just brings back a lot of memories. Um, and just, I mean, I'm very fortunate to um, you know, have the opportunity to be here and participate in this. And seeing each flag, you know, each flag represents a person. And it's just very humbling, um, somber, emotional, and just give a lot of respect and appreciation for everything they do. She's forever grateful for the first responders who risked their lives to save others. To see the efforts of everybody come together and put this on, it just reminds you that um, we haven't forgotten. The display is open to the public and will be on Art Hill through September 12th. Reporting from Forest Park, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.